Hi, this is Russell Holden with Render Plus Software, and this tutorial is a brief introduction to adding reflections to SketchUp materials. If you'd like to follow along, you can open this model by selecting the folder on the iRender Next toolbar, select the Reflections Tutorial model, and then once it's opened, render it immediately. The rendering shows that when the model is first open, no reflections have been added to any of the SketchUp materials. To add a reflection to a SketchUp material, right-click the surface and then use the Edit Material dialog. On this dialog, you'll find a tab labeled Presets. These are nine rendering values, all named in a way that's very easy to understand. When I select Mirror, I've added a mirrored surface to my SketchUp model. The frame around the mirror is the same material as the vanity base. When I select plastic, this will give the appearance of a painted surface. To make the surface more reflective, increase intensity. Let's change the view to make things a little bit easier to click on. For example, this faucet. This faucet is actually a nickel-plated metal. Back to the Presets menu, select Metal. Now once you have some experience with adding reflections to materials, you'll discover that it's not always necessary to rely on presets. For example, for this countertop, I'm going to just set my own values. Sharpness is a control for the smoothness of the surface. The smoother the surface, the sharper the reflections. I want this bowl to render as porcelain. So just like the counter, I'm going to just type in my own values. And lastly, this nice blue vase, which is glass. To render the vase as glass, I'm going to return to presets and select thick glass. Here again, the model before reflections were added to materials. And now, a much more realistic image with reflections added. This vanity model has so many materials that render more realistically when reflections are added. It's a great way to experiment with reflections and become very well acquainted with all of the options for rendering reflections in your SketchUp models. I hope this information has been helpful. Good luck with your SketchUp renderings. This is Russell Holden with RenderPlus Software.